Assalamu alaikum everyone this is Taral Hussain and in today's video I'll be talking about something very important what it is it is about the vocabulary part right now many students are asking this question these days what is the usage of vocabulary in the digital start how should we use the vocabulary how much words should we learn should we even go for you know memorizing the vocabulary how should we use it because considering the paper start the vocabulary was you know not that important considering the questions that they had over there so let's start with the number of questions that will pertain specifically to vocabulary on the digital SAT right now if you consider both the modules it is easy or safe to say that you'll have around three to four questions that pertain only to vocabulary in each of the modules right so if you have two modules you can expect around seven to nine questions of vocabulary in both the modules combined right now considering you have a total number of 54 questions in the entire reading and writing section if you have seven to eight questions only from vocabulary that would mean you know you have a large proportion of you know questions from your you know from vocabulary around 14 to 15 percent of the entire paper is from vocabulary right so that over here answers the questions first right that vocabulary is super important for digital SAT right this should not be a problem this should not be a concern from for anyone now right now we have to be clear on the fact that if we are not good with, good with vocabulary obviously we are going to falter on those seven eight questions right and because if we want a good score on the SAT each question has its own importance and we can obviously not let go of these questions right now the second question is if this vocabulary is so important right how do we you know master this and how do we you know get get about all those seven and nine questions you know in a way that we get a good score on them right or we get a perfect score on them right now there are many ways to improve your vocabulary right you can obviously read books you can you know cram different words right and you can you know practice the test as well you know for you know improving it right but what is the best way to go about it right now considering that you know I'm talking about a student who maybe has two to three months for a, you know going for the SAT test right so you know obviously if you go for reading the books right this is you know hands down the best strategy for improving your vocabulary but do we have that much amount of time to you know you to you know improve our vocabulary in this fashion no because you know reading books and you know getting words out of it it takes time right so we can you know go on with the books but obviously that is not the only way that we have to go about right now cramming the words from different vocabulary lists that we have maybe that's not that productive and effective but at the end of the day if you do you know do it on a consistent and daily basis you will find that you know it is more useful than you ever thought right so what you have to do is you should you know read the books as well you know that will help you with your reading part as well and that will help you with your you know vocabulary as well and with that you have to you know learn a sizable amount of words maybe 20 words or 30 words on a daily basis from the word list maybe you know recommended by some official websites or some people who are you know uh, who are you know expert in this or something like that right so you have to go for that vocabulary on a daily basis right and over a period of two to three months if you do this on a daily basis you will see that your vocabulary bank would you know slightly you know improve with time and you will be able to solve those questions more efficiently and in lesser time right so if you do this if you master these words if you know you have a good vocabulary and if you can do all of those seven eight questions right you know that can have a big impact on your overall score and the score of your reading and writing section as well right and remember there will always be some confusion so as to what will come in the paper obviously no one can no one can exactly tell you the words that are going to come in the paper right it is possible that you know you memorize 2000 3000 words and you don't get a single word from those words in your paper and there is a possibility that you memorize only 100 to 200 words and you get maybe 10 15 words from those 100 words in your paper right so we don't know what's coming in the paper we can only do our efforts right so just ignore the external factors don't listen to what you know everyone is saying just focus on your work just keep on memorizing that is all that you can do and hopefully you know fortune will favor the brave if you you know do keep on doing it 
सो गाइज वोकेबलरी इज सुपर इंपॉर्टेंट देर आर मेनी वेज टू गो फॉर इट एट द एंड ऑफ इट ऑब्वियसली वैन यू हैव इम्प्रूव ऑन इट देन यू नो डूइंग द प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट वुड ऑल्सो मीन अ लॉट एंड यूल इवेंचुअली सी दैट द स्कोर ऑफ योर प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट हैव ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड टू इम्प्रूव राइट सो इट इज गोइंग टू बी सुपर इंपॉर्टेंट यू हैव टू वर्क ऑन योर वोकेबलरी पैरल टू द स्टडीज एंड प्रेपरेशन ऑफ योर डिजिटल सैट एंड ट्रस्ट मी ऑन दिस इफ यू डू दिस इट विल इवेंचुअली गेट यू अ हायर स्कोर थैंक यू सो मच आई होप दिस वीडियो हेल्प यू थैंक यू